Hello and welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are exploring the BI features of SAP Analytics Cloud. In my last video, I have shown what is our use case and I've also shown the demo data set. If you have not seen that video, I will put the link of the video in the description of this video. Also, you can click on the I button on the top to be able to navigate to the use case video. So let's get started. In our use case, the first step is to create data model. A data model is the foundation for doing analytics in SAP Analytics Cloud. There are a variety of data model. As this is just a demo session, we will just create a simple data model using our sample Excel data set. Of course, in our detailed SAP Analytics Cloud training, I have showcased different types of analytics acquired, live data, as well as planning models as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. So let me get started with creating the data model for the data set which we have downloaded in our system. So now I will go back and switch over to our SAP Analytics Cloud system. And this is where we'll switch in into the demo folder. And here is where we will quickly create a new data model out of our pandemic data set. Let me click on plus, create a new model. And I would import a model from our local computer file. I will select a source file from my computer where I have my data set. Click on the button. And now I will choose the data set over here. Say open. And I have multiple sheets in my data set. So I will be interested in the first sheet. Click on import. So now the import of my data set gets started. So this is an acquired data model of type analytic model. In SAP Analytics Cloud, we also have different other variety of models, which is covered in my detailed course. So please subscribe our detailed course on anubavtrainings.com for detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud. Let's come back here. And now what we are going to do is we will use this latitude and longitude to enrich the geo coordinates. So let me select these two and also enrich my data set with geo coordinates. And we will choose the latitude and longitude fields and mention to the system that they should be representing our country fields. Click on create. So now I'm geo enriching the data. Now, other than that, there are so many options here to choose related to doing the data wrangling, data blending, as well as formula creations and hierarchy creations. All of this is covered in our detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's create this model up. And now we will be ready to use or consume this model in our SAP Analytics Cloud story. So I click on create and now I can save this model in my demo folder. Click on OK. You can see model is getting created. So all the wrangling options which you apply on your data set will be applied to the larger data set which is available in the system. So now you can see our model is successfully created and we can always navigate to our model in the system. So I can switch over to the model in the system and you can see it has created an account dimension which includes all your properties. So if you go to account dimension, you'll see all your properties which are measures are part of the account dimension by default and rest all the dimensions are already kept here in the system. You can also go to this little data management tool where you can schedule new import of the data uh, using drought functionality. We also have export and import jobs which can be created to work with this data set, which is covered more in detail in our SAP Analytics Cloud course. So that's our data model. We are ready. So this is the data model I'm going to use in our next section to create the first story in the system. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.